Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Trail Makers, and I knew you guys were gonna ask for it. I didn't think we'd have to go here, but we're gonna have to go there. I made a hovering motorbike, as you can see by this thing right here in the last episode, and I thought we were gonna go on to other things, but uh, for some reason, you guys want to see a hovering unicycle now, and I knew I knew it was gonna go there. I just I just. Pretended like it wasn't gonna happen and uh, of course the comments came in and everyone's like hovering unicycle You gotta do a hovering unicycle So I don't really know what to expect with this I I didn't know what to expect with the hover bike, but uh, it turned out pretty good So let's just try it with the unicycle as well now uh, This one we could actually probably use our old unicycle and just build off of the frame of that So at least we'll have the basics of it built uh, it's just gonna be about balancing and I don't really know what to expect with this And there's a couple of ideas that I have for the hover pads that I really want to try just to see what happens But the main issue is gonna be propulsion. So let's get the unicycle in here first. Where is it? Here we go There's a couple of different things I want to try but the obvious one is a thruster But with the thruster comes a challenge is if we put a thruster at the top It's going to try to push our nose into the ground and flip us down if we put a thruster on the bottom that's gonna make our wheel kind of uh, shoot or our hover pad kind of shoot out from underneath us So we might have to try to find the center of mass to put the thrust on and that might be interesting But uh, so I'm just gonna figure out really quick how to apply a hover pad to where this wheel is And I will be keeping the suspension in here as well. So obviously the hover pads a bit wider than the wheel I really wish that there were attachment points on top of the hover pads here, but for some reason there's only attachments on the side So we're gonna have to deal with that and the hover pad doesn't have a center block as opposed to the wheels So we can actually modify the shaft of the uh, Unicycle here to be more in line with the center of our seat rather than having to go a little bit back So I'm gonna make these modifications and we'll see how it turns out. Ooh Ooh. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. This is pretty interesting. Well, we can turn. Oh, boy. Oh, that is odd. That is some weird stuff. Oh, actually, I'm curious because I have to set up so that I can lean forward. Interesting. Hmm. That's actually kind of weird. I seem to... No. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Oh, wow. That was, oh, okay. That was a lot of stages of destruction. So there was a lot of stuff going on there that I was trying to analyze and figure out what exactly was happening as far as the physics goes. But uh, one of the things I was wondering is for the hover pads, if you tilt a hover pad against the ground, does it give you propulsion against the ground rather than just a buffer? And what I was noticing is that when I'm leaning forward a little bit, oh, I explode is kind of what I'm noticing there. No, but that wasn't what I was noticing. It seemed like I was moving backwards when I leaned forward a little bit. Let me try to do it more gradually. Yeah, see? I'm like, I'm I'm moving in the opposite direction that I seem to be angled against with the hover pad, which is strange. So clearly, uh, we're gonna probably have to do something similar to what we did with the motorbike, which is add some other buffer hover pads to help with when we're tilting. And I have some ideas on what to do with that to see if we can propel ourselves with just hover pads, but I just don't know how that works yet or if it even does work. So that's gonna be the experiment uh, right now. All right, so here it goes. Let's see how this feels. Ooh, already much better as far as stability against the ground. So now if I lean forward. Interesting results. Science. Yeah, there's a lot of science happening right now. Okay, I see the issue. All right, the issue right now is that the hover pads are actually interfering with the auto balancing. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna deactivate the sensors currently. I'm gonna save this version right now. I'm just gonna delete the sensors and see if the hover pads can balance it on its own. All right, sensors have been deleted. Let's see. Correction. 
One sensor has not been deleted. Oh. <laughs> uh... Okay. I don't know. I don't know what to do right now. Yes, I do. So, one thing I was thinking was that if I was to lean forward slightly like this, that their hover pads would kind of propel me forward as they kind of angle against the ground. But as you can see, it really, it just feels like you're on a frictionless surface, which pretty much that's what the hover pads are designed to do, so it makes sense. But it seems like the hover pads aren't actually providing thrust in a direction other than upwards. So even if the hover pad gets angled, actually it's not even upwards, it's just thrust perpendicular to the surface that you're on. Because if we do hover pads against a wall, it'll keep us buffered against the wall, but I'm pretty sure it's just perpendicular. So it doesn't seem like they can actually push us at an angle to the ground. I don't know if we can use pure hover pads to actually push us in any direction. So we're gonna have to go with other methods, but first we need to get this thing balanced. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm actually going to spawn in the one that we just saved with the sensors. And I'm actually just gonna move the sensors up to here instead. All right, so now we just need to readjust the distances of these sensors and hopefully this will balance us now without these things interfering. Oh yeah, four feels really good. Very, very subtle adjustments. All right, so now if I try to lean forward. All right, oh, oh, that's interesting. Interesting effects of leaning forward, but now you can definitely see even though those hover pads are pushing against the ground It's not helping us at all go forward. So now we have the tricky part We have to put a thruster some earth thrusters in here somewhere and uh, They're gonna have to propel us forward. So let's start off Let's put a thruster right above the suspension and just see how this feels It's probably gonna be a little bit too low and it might make our bottom uh, kind of slide out from underneath us but these hover pads are pretty heavy they might be heavier than most of the stuff we have up there okay so now the only thing about this thruster is uh attachments don't look good here if we turn it sideways that's technically attaching so we could put two in here get that little bit of extra speed all right let's see how this feels and go okay yeah that's kind of what i was afraid of right there Ooh. All right, so we'll just put the thrusters a little bit higher up. We just have to find the center of mass and eventually this will work. <laughs> I'm at a solid distance right now. And then as soon as I go, it's almost like it's applying a downward force, even though it's slightly pointed upward. There's definitely a conflict there. Yeah, and then once I stop, I just go right back up. Huh, this is so weird. I mean, it's kind of working almost. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna save this right now, but maybe this angled hover pad thing just isn't right. What if we just don't angle these? Okay, so much better. I don't like that it's so much better though. I really don't. It looks so much cooler with the angles. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. I want this to look cooler. Because right now, this doesn't feel like a unicycle. Uh, what? Uh, this is going to be terrible, but I just want to see what happens if we just take away the side hover pads. Because this is as unicycle as you'll get. Uni if it's not... If, what, what do you call a unicycle that's a hover pad uni a hovering unicycle? Comment down below what you would name a hover unicycle. That sounds good. Okay, here we go. I feel like our thrusters aren't quite at our center of mass yet. I think our center of mass is much higher now, especially that we've gotten rid of those th uh, extra hover pads. So let's make some more thrust adjustments so we can actually kind of stay level when we go forward rather than kicking the bottom out from underneath us. All right, now let's see how this feels. I'm assuming it's gonna nose dive us into the ground, but I was sorely mistaken. This feels okay. Oh, we might be onto something. It's not gonna be the most, ugh. It is not going to be the most tri- What? What is- What is happening there? Is something set to space? Oh, hold on a sec. I think I realized that my problem this into- Oh, I'm an idiot. We're going to use shift and control instead. And now let's watch us nosedive. Okay, I am also very surprised right now that we seem to not be nosediving. What is happening here? This is working. This is actually working. How is this working? Oh. 
Oh, do you think this thing? Oh, oh, we hit. That was a little bit too steep and inclined. But do you think this thing can go over the water? How epic would that be? Let's head over towards the water. First, let's see if we can even make it there. This ground is pretty flat leading up there, so we should be okay. And then hopefully this thing... Oh, no, not that time. Oh. So hopefully we'll be able to reach at a good enough speed. And oh, it's not very flat going into the water. I don't know. Let's just find out. Here we go. <sighs> Dang it. Hey, we can still control it. That's kind of cool. All right, we need to get a high enough speed right on the edge of the water here. We gotta stay flat. All right, come on, come on, come on. Oh, man. Oh, you know what? That's the best way to do it, on the docks. We just gotta go right off the dock like we did with the hover motorcycle. Hover bike. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man, any variation on the ground is just suicide at this speed. By suicide, I mean gently tripping and nose planting into the ground. All right, let's see how it handles this. Are these stairs? Those are stairs. I thought it was just a ramp. Why would you put stairs on a loading dock area? Why? There's the ramp. I still don't understand the stairs though. What purpose? These stairs are bigger than anyone would reasonably step up. These are like vehicle size stick. You know what? Let's just go over here, spawn it back in, and we'll try this again. Okay, can we do this? Can we do this? Oh, we don't have any balance. That's the issue that we're running into right now is as soon as we get over the water, our sensors no longer detect the water. So if, if we're gonna have, any, we're not gonna have any hope. We're not gonna have any hope to balance on the water. I don't think a unicycle hover pad can go over water. Yeah, I can't, I honestly, I can't think of any way for this to maintain balance while it's on the water. Unless we just create a really, really flat pad, which is going to make it just a hovercraft and not an actual, like, unicycle hovercraft. Still waiting on that name in the comments, by the way. All right, well, let's make some fine adjustments, and then we're going to put this thing to the ultimate test by just crashing it a lot when attempting to do stupid stuff. All right, here we have it. We got our brand new redesign, very subtle redesign, of our hover unicycle, and we're going to see if this thing is capable of anything so for the first test i'm gonna try to jump it off of this whole staircase we tried to gradually go down the staircase let's actually get some speed see if we can clear the whole thing and land it's not gonna happen but you know what it's worth a second try all right ready and huh. oh i don't think jumps are the best thing to do when a hover unicycle all right, what we can try to do is see how this thing does on really uneven terrain. Let's see if it can get up this ramp here. I really don't know what to expect with this. Oh, and one thing I wanted to show you guys is um, if I press forward, I can actually lean forward pretty well. And you can see just how like completely unimpactful leaning a hover pad against the ground is. Completely useless. So that is not a viable mode of propulsion. Confirmed. Myth confirmed. Or myth busted, rather. Antithesis of myth confirmed. Okay, this is working. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, as long as you don't get too much speed when you're changing angles, then you're pretty good on these. All right, let's see if we can gently go over the top here. I'm actually somewhat impressed with how this is performing so far. All right. Oh, whoa. we're fine. Everything's fine. I just like to, uh, just, it was just a fake out, planned fake out. But this thing is actually, as long as you're taking it easy, this is a viable mode of transportation. I mean, it doesn't have to work great, but it does work. This can get us from point A. Oh, careful. Take it easy, I said. You gotta take it easy. This can totally get you from point A to point B. Why you would choose to use a hover unicycle over any other form of transportation, I don't know. But uh, I guess the novelty of it, it it's about like, I, I, I guess I'm one to talk. Why did I choose to build a hover unicycle as opposed to any other form of transportation? I don't know. But uh, of course, one thing we're gonna try, uh, uh, get out of the ramp. 
Of course, one thing we're gonna try is that jump over there because if there's any jump that a very fragile and explosive, potentially explosive vehicle can take, it's that one because the landing is as soft as can be compar compared to like most other jumps. So let's see if we can do that. Oh boy, this is bad. Yeah, see, we have to avoid that and uh, I don't know how that's gonna go. All right, just getting onto this ramp is gonna be an issue. I'm gonna have to face this way. Okay, here we go. Almost, almost, almost there. Come on, come on. We just gotta get out of that. There we go. There. Oh, not quite, not quite, almost. Just, just stand up, stand up, unicycle. There we go, calm down. All right, we're on, we're on the ramp. All right, now we're just gonna go straight. Hope that we don't fall off. Got to make sure our sensors are detecting the ground here. And I have no idea what to expect once we uh, get off of this loop here. Or this, uh, this lip here. And go! It's about what I expected. Alright, just for the pure fun of it. We're going to try the bull. Is it called the bull of doom? I think it's called the bull of doom. I've forgotten. My memory is failing me. I think it's the bull of doom though. Because it's it's conceivable that this could work, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh no. No, yeah. The, uh, the, the centripetal force is just too much. But I know the question on all of your minds is what happens when you put a hover unicycle in a hydraulic press? So I think that is a great way to end off this episode. All right, a, the creation that you guys asked for, but I don't know if you really wanted, uh, the hover unicycle is gonna be no more as we take it into the hydraulic. The hydraulic press interrupted me. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up and uh, leave suggestions for other creations because this came from your suggestions and uh, for some reason, I thought it'd be a good idea to do it. Not so sure anymore, but I had fun. Before you guys go, make sure you leave a suggestion for other stuff you'd like to see me try to do in Trail Makers because that's where this episode came from. So if you want more ridiculousness like this, you gotta make the ridiculous suggestions and uh, We'll see what happens next time. Make sure you subscribe so that you do not miss that. And leave a like if you like the episode. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I will see you next time. Bye.